Welcome to SAT 021. The topic of this lesson is percent. We see or hear percent a lot, like a cell phone is on sale for 20% off, or the gas price went up by 5%, etc. But what is percent? A percent is a ratio where a number is compared to 100. So based on the definition, x percent equals x over 100. To write a percent as a fraction, write a percent as a fraction with a denominator of uh, 100, and then simplify、uh, if necessary. For example, 20 percent can be written as 20 over 100, and then we can、uh, reduce it to one fifth. Another one, 120 percent, can be written as 120 over 100, and then can be simplified as six over five, and then further to one and one fifth. To write a percent as a decimal, move the decimal point two places to the left while removing the percent symbol. For example, sixteen percent. Remove the percent symbol and then move the decimal point two positions to the left. So, sixteen percent equals point sixteen. Another one, six percent. Remove the percent symbol and then move the decimal、uh, point two places to the left. Add、uh, zero if there's、uh, space to fill. So, six percent equals zero point zero six. To write a decimal as a percent, move the decimal point two places to the right, then add a percent symbol. For example. Zero point thirty six. Move the decimal point two places to the right, and then add a percent symbol. So point thirty six equals thirty six percent. Another one two point zero six. Move the decimal point two places to the right, add a percent symbol. So two point zero six is two hundred and six percent. To write a fraction as a percent. There are three different scenarios. Okay, the first one: if the denominator of the fraction is a hundred, then use the definition to write as a percent. And we saw that already. The second scenario: if the denominator of、uh, the fraction is a factor of one hundred, then make the denominator one hundred. For example, six over twenty. We know twenty is a factor of one hundred, since twenty times five equals one hundred. So we can multiply five in the numerator and denominator at the same time, and we get thirty over one hundred, and it can be written as thirty percent. The third scenario: if the denominator of the fraction is not a factor of one hundred, then just divide,、uh, divide, then rewrite. For example, one sixteenth. We know sixteen is not a factor of one hundred, so we just convert it to decimal by dividing. One over sixteen equals zero point zero six two five. Move the decimal point two places to the right, and then it is six point two five percent. Okay, so one sixteenth is six point twenty five percent. Another one, one third. We know three is not a factor of one hundred either. So we just、uh, convert to decimal by dividing. So one over three is one point three repeating. And even though it's a recurring decimal, we can still move the decimal point two places to the right and then add a percent symbol. So one third is thirty three point three percent if we keep one decimal place. Okay, so let's look at one example. A cell phone is on sale for twenty percent off its original price. If the sale price of the cell phone is five hundred sixty dollars, what was the original price of the cell phone? Assume there is no sales tax, and there are A, B, C, D,、uh, four choices. Okay, so it's on sale. That means it's a markdown. So twenty percent off the one hundred percent original price. So we can form an equation like this: the original price. Times parentheses one hundred percent minus twenty percent, and then on the right side of the equation, that's the current price, which is five hundred and fifty. We change twenty percent、uh, to decimal, one hundred percent to one, and then we simplify. 
So the original price times 0 0.8 equals 560. We divide uh, 0 0.8 to each side of the equation. And uh, finally, we got the original price was $700. Okay, so that's all for this lesson. Uh, thank you for watching. Goodbye.